What up, what up, what up, what up? Peace, love, and blessings. It's your boy, Big Truck. You already know what we do here at the King's Table. We have those um, conversations and reviews. We're going to dive into this situation here with Jeannie Mai and Young Jeezy. And a shout out to uh, the brother here on this network. Go ahead and show him some love. But without further ado, Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone tuning in. I want to talk about Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. Apparently, Jeannie Mai is not very happy right now. She's upset because Jeezy is refusing to pay her any of the, the agreed upon money and also cars that she or car titles that she is seeking from him ever since they settled this uh, divorce. And I believe they settled the uh, child care situation as well but Jeezy is not giving her a dime and the reason why Jeezy I believe is not giving her anything is because this woman made claims against them this woman tried to ruin his reputation and I truly believe that Jeezy wants her to suffer false allegations I'm doing this because a lot of a lot of men go through this and it's going to bring me to a point towards the end and my final thoughts that I would say but do men go through this yes they do false allegations a large number of women make false allegations when going through a divorce going through a separation or whatever the case may be especially when they are not getting their way number one number two when the man has filed for divorce her ego is crushed Pay attention to that. Let's go. I'm, he doesn't feel like she deserves anything more from him. And I think that's why he hasn't given her anything. Okay. Jeannie Mai went through another failed divorce. And I think that Jeezy probably feel like he made a mistake. Because again, he's the one that filed. And you remember, uh, she was the one who seemingly was trying to keep things together. But once she realized that Jeezy was done... That is when she started to make these wild claims towards him as if he was the bad guy, as if he was somebody that was abusing her. Like she literally made these claims that could maybe it did uh, hurt him financially as far as, you know, sponsorships and and also musically uh, his relationships and in entertainment industry. To be careful and be mindful of the things that you say, because those words and those statements, whether they true or not, can come back and hurt you. You know, Young Jeezy has a lot to lose more than Jeannie Mai. But at the same time, making false allegations against someone is not cool at all. You know, and should really, really be examined. That tells me Something's going on in here. You're not getting your way. I never failed marriage. And I'm using myself in this too. Because my ex, three failed marriages. Why did they all fail? You feel what I'm saying? At some point, you have to take accountability. You have to look at yourself and say, what part did I play in this? I can't just solely blame it all on him or her. In this case here, Jeannie Mai has to look at herself, take a real crash hard look at herself. What part did you play? What's going on? We kind of already know her mouth. She can get real slippery at the lips at times. Sometimes it pays to just shut your mouth and listen. Let's go. He could have really damaged him with these claims, okay, that have never been substanti substantiated. She made these claims out of desperation because she realized that she was losing in the court of public opinion. And it drove her to where she was willing to ruin this man's reputation because she didn't like how things we're going on and see this is the the problem with a lot of western women and women like Jeannie is that they always feel like they have the upper hand that society now 
is putting women in positions to ruin men financially. This is why I'm not a supporter of marriage. And people think that there's something wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. I Let's just say prenup comes up. If she's for you or he's for you, a prenup shouldn't be a problem. In my case, I avoid all of that. My assets are not in my name. So therefore, we ain't got to worry about a prenup. You see, it's about making smart moves and being strategic and using wisdom about the moves that you make so that if a person is with you, they're going to be with you long term. If a person is with you and they're going to be with you short term, let it be what it be. I rather you be honest with me. I, I rather you say, I rather be with you short term. This is short term. I don't see me spending the rest of my life with you. Cool. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I know how to move. I respect you. And I respect what we're doing. Now I know how to move accordingly. Adjusting to the times. And when you look at how Jeezy was the one that wanted out of that marriage, they weren't even married with what, two years. And he wanted out. The best thing you can do a lot of times is not get married. You don't need to sign a contract with the government in order for you to signify your love, especially in a society where the women file the majority of the divorces. You see, when a man gets I married, agree. I agree. He wants to stay in that marriage. He's not looking. He's not looking to get out of it. A lot of women have one foot out the door a lot of times, and it does. And I believe even in my situation, my ex chose to exercise that foot that was outside the door. Because when I tell you I fought tooth and nails for my marriage, I did that. We're talking about two mild heart attacks. We're talking about being put out the house out on the street. But I still went to work. I still helped put money in the house. So when you when you really look at it or when I look at it really it was it was heartbreaking for me cuz I've never experienced that before. You know? But after the smoke cleared and I began to really really see You know what? She did me a favor. I'm glad she divorced me. Cuz if all this would have been taking place and you would have looked at long jeopardy I would have been fucked so in retrospect she did me a favor because in doing so it puts me in position not only to continue let's, let's just say continue to do the work on myself my work has already been started on on myself way before I met her a good man's work is never done you may think you've done the work on yourself but Elohim will show you here's some more areas where you need work in and maybe those areas where you need work in you're gonna need some help I'm gonna send you some help here's your significant other here's your partner now it's up to both of you. Either you're going to make it short term or long term. I'm going to let that marinate for a second. Jeezy's refusing to give her anything. According to TMZ, Jeannie Mai to Jeezy, I want my money and my car titles like we agreed upon. Jeannie Mai claims Jeezy is not complying with the terms of their divorce settlement. She says he owes her a ton of money and paperwork for two sets of wheels. According to legal docs obtained by TMZ, the talk show host says the rapper's 
The rapper ex-husband is not following through with a bunch of things they agreed to when they finalized their split. Jeannie says their divorce settlement calls for Jeezy to pay her for daycare costs and school tuition for their child, deposit at least 500000 in interest bearing account for the kid, transfer the title for the two cars and cover four months of her rent. Cover four months of her rent. That must be. All of that, all of that, you're married less than two years. All of that. I was married 14 months. Thank God there was no assets. Just like other people out there, this is your fucking wake up call. You better learn, not you better, you will learn how to appreciate a good person when they in your life. Because when that good person is not in your life anymore, you're gonna be between a pimp and a hard place. I think that at that point, he says, you know what, I, I'm, I'm not going to give you anything. Take me to court. That's what I think this stems from. Because if Jeezy wanted to, he could have paid for those things. And the fact that he hasn't shows that he's not, he's, he's upset by how she's handled things, you know, and, and what she tried to do, the underhanded things she tried to do in order to get back at him, to get payback, to get revenge for filing for divorce. And she couldn't handle that she was getting cooked in the court of public opinion. So you know what she goes and does? She tries to ruin his reputation. I don't think Jeezy ever got over that. I really don't. There's no telling how, you know, if he's lost money behind this heifer. He probably did. He probably lost money behind this heifer. That's why he ain't giving her anything now. My final thoughts is this. Men and women, use wisdom. It's not just about seeing red flags. It, you know, if there's red flags. Really take the time and know who you who you gonna be with. Because when your faith is tested, when your faith is tested, it's gonna show what type of person you are. And the worst thing, the worst, worst thing is to be with a person when all hell is breaking loose. They turn on you. As a man. But yet you got to keep moving. Two mild heart attacks. Got to keep moving. Out in the street. Got to keep moving. Going backwards and forwards to work. Got to keep moving. Crying at night. Got to keep moving. Depression. Got to keep moving. I was literally about to go crazy. But it's something when my God, my God, my God, my God will always have your back and always see you through, even through your darkest time. I say, you got a powerful testimony. You got a powerful word. Share that with the men because there's a large number of men that need to hear it because they're going through it. But that being said, Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's your boy, Big Truck, here at the King's Table, and this is what we do, conversation and reviews. My bad. Too excited. We get down to the root of it all. Hey, go live your best life. Go have fun. You only live once. Go do it big. Peace, love, and blessings.